Jonathan Lee Riches investigates. I am covering the Michael Vaughn case out of Fruitland, Idaho. Authorities right now are searching the property of a couple that lives a few blocks away from where Michael Vaughn's family live. Stacy and Sarah Wandra. Authorities are digging up their backyard. They've been doing it for multiple days now. And I've been digging in deep on the Wandras. Who are they? Are they involved with this case in any way? And one of the things I've noticed was by doing background checks on the Wandras, scouring through their social media profiles, they got a Lexus. They got a Lexus, a white Lexus in December of 2020. I'm going to show you a video right here and a picture of the actual Lexus. Check it out. I'm going to be driving in this Lexus here soon. I've never driven a Lexus before, but now we own one. So there's our heated butt seats. Yeah. White Lexus. Now, two sources very close to this whole entire situation have told me that right after Michael Vaughn went missing, Stacy tried to sell the white Lexus. He tried to sell the white Lexus. Now, I think that's very important considering on the 27th of July, 2021, a short time frame in the evening time, Michael Vaughn vanishes. Was Stacy or his wife Sarah in that area in, in any vehicle? White Lexus. And maybe possibly picked up Michael Vaughn? Now, I have a private investigator. We've done a background check on the Wanderers. They've had multiple vehicles at that home. At that home. Uh, I have a list here, 2021 Toyota Highlander Utility 4x4 four-door, four a 2016 to Toyota Corolla sedan four-door, a 2016 Toyota Corolla sedan four-door, I already mentioned that, 2005 GMC Sierra 1500 pickup truck, a 2004 Cadillac, Cadillac Escalade Utility 4x4 four four, four-door, a 2002 Acura 3.2 Sedan four door, a 2001 Nissan Altima sedan four door, and a 2001 Pontiac Montana wagon. All those vehicles registered to that address. They got a white Lexus about seven months before Michael Vaughn went missing, and then right after it, trying to sell the Lexus. Who did they sell that Lexus to? Because their social media profiles after Michael Vaughn went missing, no more Lexus gone, vanished. Why did they get rid of it? Who'd they sell it to? Hopefully authorities are looking into that. Hopefully authorities are at least looking into that considering they're digging up their backyard. They're digging up these people's backyard. So you would think that authorities have already done their due diligence and are just seeing their behaviors off and on from a little bit before the 27th of July and after. And, you know, what they... For instance, uh, you know, in what April of this year, Stacy was indicted, or Stacy tried to sell a gun to a pawn shop or a gun shop, and then was indicted in May. So a lot of times when crimes are committed, people try to get rid of the evidence. 
they try to get rid of it, sell it. You know, a lot of times people, you know, do things with weapons and then get rid of them and sell it because they've, you know, done something with, you know, a crime with the gun. So if a car is involved with this case, how that, you know, Michael Vaughn, these individuals live a few blocks away. I would say about a five minute walk. Same neighborhood. You know, are these people involved? And did Michael Vaughn get in some sort of vehicle? Subscribe to my channel, like, hit the notification button. I am covering this case. I have lots of videos on the Wandras, digging in on them deeply. No stone left unturned, covering this case. Media are outside the Wandras house right now. Police Chief Huff gave a statement saying that they're searching that house. He said the address. So where is Michael Vaughn? Praying for the community. Hopefully Michael Vaughn is found soon. Everyone be safe. Love your loved ones. God bless. 